I love that song, guys. Billionaire by Tenny. Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find really good. Welcome.
guys. This is Tyler. I post share this video. We want to get some more people to join the conversation before we start. So please, please, please. This is another song by Tani called Uyo Mayo. I'm just feeling her this week, guys. You can check her out, Tani, on YouTube. Google it. If you guys can't hear, please let me know. is so inspirational it's just saying you know it doesn't matter what it is if you believe it you work hard you can achieve it you know and success is yours that's just what it is um you guys should check our song out tenny on youtube or google it you'll be able to download some of her tracks she has beautiful beautiful tracks so before we comment welcome to adiba connector tv my name is Ade Tiladende, your host. And like I said again, welcome. Welcome to my queendom because I'm the queen that dominates the space. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please let us know as you join. Let us know where you're joining us from. Let me know if you can hear me well. If I need to project my voice, let me know. But uh, thank you once again for joining us on Ariba Connector TV. Um, this week has been quite busy, quite, quite busy. I remember last um, episode we spoke about uh, being stressed out and anyone going through some sort of depression signals, um, signs that should reach out to their physicians, their doctors, or reach out to a family member or to a friend. You know, even reach out to strangers. Hey, as so far as you find someone to speak to, to let out whatever it is that's going on and they're listening. That's what really matters is listening. And that's what I believe we need to do more is listen more and talk less. There's too much noise around. We need to listen more and talk less. That is why I'm here for you guys. I want to have a conversation with you guys. I don't want to be doing all the talking. I want to have a conversation. You guys come to this forum at about connect the TV and join the conversation. I want to have you guys here because I want to listen to that which is dwelling in your heart that is heavy on your shoulders and you find there's nobody else that is listening. I am listening guys. I am listening and I want you guys to message me um call email adiba connector on facebook adiba connector instagram on twitter send me a message guys i don't buy i don't buy <laughs> you know um give us a shout out 647-772-1660 um email us at adiba connector at gmail.com or info at adibaconnector.com well you're, you're you're free we welcome you we want to get um opinions from you guys we want to get thoughts feedbacks negative positive it's all feed it's all feedback and we need it to grow 
um, please communicate with us. We want to have conversations. We don't like to just talk and hear ourselves talk all the time. We want to have a conversation with you guys. And um, yet again, I'm going to have to talk about, of course, my sponsors. And we love, 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 love our sponsors. Um, starting from um, Joe Bark Industrial Supplies. We thank you. Um, you guys need to check them out at joebark.ca. You can give them a call at 416-650-9152. Um, what they do is they supply um, uh, janitorial office, restaurant shipping supplies to um, individuals, to businesses, to companies. Um, give them a call. They also do free delivery that comes with their package. Um, check them out, like I said, on uh, www.joebark.ca. And what they do, once again, is they supply janitorial office restaurant and shipping supplies to individuals to businesses and of course we also want to say thank you to our other sponsor uh, called nostalgia grill you guys it's the downtown feel of town you know what i'm saying so you guys need to check them out at 900 albion road it's Albion and Islington. You cannot miss them. They're on the right side if you're coming from 401 and Albion. Um, their number is 416-749-6500. 416-749-6500. Um, check them out. Nostalgia Grill, 900 Albion Road. Um, very tasty, tasty food. Um, very elegant atmosphere. You would love to experience that space with them and of course we want to thank 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 our new sponsor they're called the place restaurant and bar the place restaurant and bar if you check out um if you check out our um facebook and instagram even twitter you're going to see their advert there um uh, the place restaurant and bar they are located at Finch and uh, Western Road. And you can check them out on, on their website at theplace.ca. That's www.deplace.ca. -E you can also give them a call at 647-748-7523 or 647-342-1023. Finch and Western Road. Um, very nice African dishes. Mwah tastes tastes well um is right at the at the the spot where there's so much traffic so you can just get in there and get out uh, you guys definitely check them out man check them out especially friday nights saturdays uh sundays even during the week for lunch you want a quick bite for lunch they're they're ready to serve you guys they are so ready it's a great atmosphere to also be at um, we want to also talk about our collaboration event that went down last week. Guys, it was awesome. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. It started a bit late, but you know us, we're critics. Uh, it started a bit late, but um, the event went quite well, especially towards the end of the night. People were not ready to go. Um, Mr. Mr. Femi... Uh, Give us a show, and in fact, it was it was it was a lovely atmosphere when he was playing with his saxophone and giving us all um, fella cooties um, hits and his band. You guys, you guys did a great job. You guys did a great job. Um, you guys, thanks for joining us. Um, posts um, our link to your friends, your fam, family. Let them join the conversation. I don't like talking all by myself. I want you guys to join me in my conversations. And let's talk about what you want to talk about. That's why I'm here. Um, also, uh, what else, what else, what else is going on? Oh, um, I don't know if you guys saw this video. Uh, I think it's like a, a pastor at a church. I'm not sure if it's like East African church or West African church, but it's a church. And the pastor was 
was asking for some some sort of um, tithes or not so not tithes but offering like prophetic offering or whatnot like that and then no one showed no one came out in the congregation it looks like congregations of like a couple of thousand people and no one showed up you know i'm not the one to really talk about um churches because i don't condemn churches i don't condemn anybody really but the rate at which churches are being doing things it hasn't they have not been doing things the proper way you know so when i saw that video clip someone sent to me about the pastor asking the congregation for a prophetic offering you know and no one like nobody stood out i was like impressed in a way because People have been so fooled and and mis, mis misled, you know, into thinking when you pay tithes, that's when you get to heaven, or you must only pay tithes, and it's only if you're paying tithes, that's the only way you can, God is going to hear your prayers. And people have and people have been misled so much that when I saw that no one showed up, I was like, whoa, like I was wowed. I was like, damn. People are starting to wake up. People are starting to actually read the Bibles for themselves. People are actually starting to research. It's starting to know God for themselves and not just listen to what a preacher is telling you. It doesn't matter who, what, where, when. Anytime a preacher is preaching to you, you should go home and do your own work. Don't just take their word for it. No, go home and do your own research. So when I saw that no one showed up, I was quite impressed and... I believe that's just the beginning of a lot, a lot, a lot of eye openers. People, you know, starting to wake up. You know, just wake up. It's not just about giving tithes alone. You half of your members don't have shelter. Half of your members can't afford to take their kids to school. Not even half. Let me say like eighty percent of the members. You know, don't don't know they're going to pay their rent. And then here, some pastor comes out saying. You know prophetic offering prophetic offering and it shouldn't be like that you know like i said i'm not the one to condemn any pastor or any church but i believe we all as individuals owe it to ourselves to go and study the word for our own selves because like the bible does says my people suffer because of lack of knowledge and if you do know the truth the truth does set you free so you don't want to be continuously being in bondage of this false um prophetic um, teachings of this false you know pastors um, and and at times or most times especially in Africa it's like it's a not just in Africa don't get me too states everywhere around the world it's like a cycle of generational generational um, families that are in this bondage because no one is is ready or no one is willing or no one is taking up the the position of going to study the word for themselves and saying listen guys this is how it should be this is how it should be done you know and it's like a generational cycle of uh, families being under the same bondage of you know you're giving everything you've got and what about the other things that actually needs to be taken care of and i'm not against tithes and offering but i'm against um those who are in power and oppressed and take advantage of those who are of their subject or of less of um, less knowledge or whatnot you know just taking advantage of some of people it, especially when it comes to false doctrines and 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 using the weapon of of hope you know and to me it's just terrible but meanwhile let's um talk about something else um like this beautiful 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 material that I'm wearing is um, let's say it's one of our branding um, from Addy Styles we are branding native wares and if you guys would love something like this let me know inbox me send me a message make a comment and I just want to show you guys some some more that we have this one is actually like a top the top uh, like a little mesh top that goes on top of maybe like a spaghetti top um you need to put on it's very very beautiful the same material as what i have right now 
film. And let me show you some more. Check out this guy. This is a beautiful um how one sleeve, one sleeve um dress, mini dress. Look at the color. Check out the color and the stones, guys. Stones, like believe me, you're not going to go wrong on it. And they're very, very affordable. Very, very affordable. This is a very cute dress, also. I'm going to be for if I haven't posted it yet because I believe I did. I don't know which platform, but I'm going to be posting some of the pictures and videos on the Facebook, on the Instagram, um, so you guys can have a feel of what it looks like and make your own purchase. Believe me, you will thank me later. You will thank me later. Look at this beautiful green peach. If green is your color, you need to cut this. Like we have so much more. Like I can't show you it all, but you guys, this is like a navy blue with a yellow, especially for my non-African viewers. You guys, you're looking for some nice authentic African print. All I had to grow. Like inbox me and let me email this to you okay i said email let me mail it to you <laughs> believe me guys you do not like you would love 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 this look at this it's a beautiful dress check that out the stone though like the stone work is, is it's lovely so oh i'm going to be going to an event um, this evening, it's a couples retreat for the title of the event actually, but it's going to be beautiful, nice for singles, for couples. Um, I'm sure I've posted like the, the ad, um, on the social medias handles and, uh, I'm going to try and wear one of this, maybe I'm going to put this one on and you can get like the full picture of how it looks. It's beautiful. Uh, oh yes, uh, another sad news. Uh, this lady that passed away um, in Calgary. She's uh, a worker in, a, I believe, in a mental, a mental home, and it's very sad that one of the clients um, stabbed her to death. And in fact, it's just a shock in the city of. Calgary and Toronto and I'm sure those that are also in the cities in between that know her or have known about her and uh, it's it's terrible it's a terrible loss it, it it's sad and uh, may her soul rest in perfect peace may God grant her family you know uh, condolences in which they need you know the strength in which they need to to see this time this time to see it true um, very very sad and of course we want to say thank you we want to say congratulations sorry congratulations to davido and shoma the new bouncing baby boy i believe is uh, davido's third child and shoma's first i want to say congratulations to those couple and um, may your home continually be blessed and uh yes 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 guys Oh, the Nigerian, um, Nigerian, Canadian um, Celebrity Awards, I believe that's what it's called, um, had their event yesterday. It was quite, um, it was quite packed. <laughs> it was adventurous. Uh, there was a lot of actors and actresses that came in from Nigeria, from the States, and even the ones that are uh, locally based that showed up for the event, um, the, which was powered and by Starboard, and I believe hosted by uh, MC Morris and um, Chelsea. Uh, the show, the, sh the event was, was quite um, <laughs> elaborated. Um, there was a lot of people. The only, the only thing about it was the hall is a bit small. It's quite tight, so maybe next year, uh, hint hint to starboard um, try and get a bigger haul next year that would be great and um, 
they started quite late, so that we gotta work on. Torontonians, Torontonians, Torontonians. We have to plead and beg you guys to start events on time. You can't be starting at one o'clock and don't expect the owners of the venue to, to turn off the lights at like three. Like you guys, three thirty, four o'clock, you're pushing it. So you have to try and be at the event on time so that you can actually enjoy the full capacity of the event and what um, the organizers have um, have packed presented for you guys. So you guys try and show up on time to events. They were not able to give out all the awards and it was sad because some people did came did come sorry to watch you know these celebrities being given awards to it and at least able to take a picture or two with them and they were not able to and it was not nice that people came late so they started quite late so for next event you guys were pleading to please come out on time come out on time so the events can be well you know observed and you know just so that you can actually enjoy your time there and not rush, rush, rush. And of course, Black Blaze was the musician and the artist of the night and he always does well. So uh, congratulations for a successful show, Starboy and uh, Starboy Entertainment, um, Mr. Temidayo. Uh, congratulations, you did well. And we pray next year we even be much better. And uh, oh yes, of course. Adiba Connectors event is, you guys, it's like a week, like a week from today. It is next Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. You guys try and come out, come out, come out, come out. I want to see your beautiful faces. Come out and see us, my team and I. Come out, come out, come out. Um, the posters, of course, are on our Facebook, on Instagram and um, Twitter. Website Adiba the triple You guys come out and be part like be part of this um, network event. Be part of it. Be part of it. Be part of it. If you are a business owner, an inspiring business owner, you're not sure what to what to get into. You're not sure how to go about it. You get to meet those who are we who have been doing it for a minute. If you're not sure if this is for you, what you're doing is not for you. You're not sure you want to give up on it. You have people who have been preserving, you know, persevering at the um, career in which they are into and they're still going on. So they're also going to motivate you to keep going on if that's what you need. And of course, if you are having any legal issues, you've been to one lawyer or the other and it's like they give you, uh, uh, what do you call it, they're running around. You guys, there's going to be lawyers on, on, on the spot to help you. You know, don't miss this event. It's going to be very worthwhile for you. Um, it's going to be November 2nd, 2019 at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I am begging, 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 begging. I am begging you guys. 7 p.m., please. Not 10 o'clock. 7 p.m. Try and be at the venue, which is located at 106 Umber College Boulevard. 106 Umber College Boulevard by Iowa 27 and Finch at the main, main major intersection. Come out, support, support, support. Because that's what we love to do is support others. So we would appreciate if you guys could come out and support us. Uh, support us if you're um, in an organization, a company, and you would like to sponsor the events with anything. You are welcome to sponsor us either financially or with um, your office supplies, like promotional um, supplies, um, you're welcome. We would appreciate it all. It doesn't matter how small it is, we would appreciate it. Um, and I believe that is all for for today. Like I said, it's a quick one. Um, be connected, stay connected. Your girl, Adi, Tila Dende. See you guys soon.